Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play a Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we basically got started on expanding to several more industries, as we still need to get started on transporting more commodities to our local towns and cities, as well as acquiring some new locomotives to replace some aging ones. And in this episode, we're going to continue on doing that, as we're going to finally get started on transporting water and fruit juice into this fruit juice packaging plant. We already have cartons available, so what we just need is water and fruit juice. And the fruit juice factory requires fruits, sugar, and water. There's already one train of liquids, one train of sugar cane, and one train of fruit. So we'll need to set up another train to pick up those loads of fruit juice. Now, let's see. We'll connect that to that. Let's see. Which track is the freight train supposed to go on? I'm going to put it on, tr on that track. But one thing's for sure, though. The train carrying the cartons will go on to another line. This will go on track 5. And what is that noise? Oh, it's my Alco RS1. Just waiting for a green signal. Speaking of which, another traffic jam? Oh, what is it now? Oh. I have so much track, it's basically causing nothing but a traffic jam. Well, not just a traffic jam, but there's just so much trains on a single run line at one time. Okay, I think that will basically fix the signaling issue for a little while. And, oh my gosh, I did not expect that to go down that quick. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that drop in cat in bank balance. Ugh. Well, at least we got some new rolling stock, but now we gotta try to get the money back up as fast as we can. Which basically means our... Well, we're still at 35, but we have lost over 705 million dollars. Oh, This is gonna be a little while before we can finally earn some more money. Can't believe that after so many good years of service, our company's now in the red again. But thankfully, with all these new services we have, we could at least be able to pay back the loan. Anyway, so, let's see. This will be Freight Train A, because it's a liquids. And this will be Freight Train A4, which will be carrying fruit juice. If that's how it's done. Oh, yeah. A dash four liquids fruit juice. Let's see. Uh, geez, what equipment is basically causing so much money problems? Oh my god, all of my equipment has a balance, has a negative balance. Well, except for some of these services down here. And now my loan is going up because I have to pay this off. <sighs> I gotta figure out what's causing all this problems. I knew it. It's this darn single track main line that's right here. It's blocking all the routes. I'm moving this freight train out of the way so it can at least clear the line for the local commuter train. But wait. This train is basically not able to enter that platform. I'll have to change that. It's supposed to go on either track 3 or track 4 if the track is blocked. Alright. I really... 
I think I'll have to finally start taking out another loan to get this train, to get this rail system back to normal. <sighs> After so many dang good years of operation, my company is now basically in the red from everything. But once this main line is rebuilt, it will basically be a lot more efficient. I just gotta basically do a double track of the passenger line into the station here at the city of Greenwood. And then basically, with that out of the way, then more trains can basically use the same line at the same time. <sighs> Now, I already paid off my loan in a, in a very previous episode, so this situation won't change. I just gotta make sure my vehicles make at least a profit. One, I have one of each type make it a profit before the end of 1956. Because according to all of these, my company... my I received a profit from my road vehicles, my trains, my ships at one point as well as air as well as my airplanes okay now with that out of the way we can finally get started on rebuilding this whole thing i don't like doing all this but there's no i have a lot of work to do Vehicle in the way. Oh, dang, nabbit. Ugh. Okay. We'll basically relay the track as it did once before, but this time there will be a second line up here. Let's see. I'll just relay the track to this for now. And do this. Thirty-eight miles an hour. Not what I was expecting for a new connection. But it's all I can muster for now. Same thing for the tracks leading to the passenger station. They will be double tracked too. that and do that do that switch Ugh. could not connect to all the stations I better just basically add the new signals here there we go and lumber products for an train carrying logs Oops, wrong signal. Perfect. Now, I'll have to set up a new signal, set up some new signaling in this area. For one, a new signal here. But since we're in the 50s now, I think it's best if I just go for color light signals full time now. Finally, I need, I'll probably set up a signal gantry over this section of track. Now let's see. Signal gantry. Ah, here we go. Searchlight signal bridge. It will have a four track span. And because of the switches ahead, it's going to basically have this type of signal here. And this one there. Do that. And that. And we'll have another one here. This will be... The signal will go that... Oh, wait. Double signal there. And another double signal here. Add that one. And add this one. Okay. I think now everything should be ready to go. Although, some of my trains are on the wrong side of the track. 
There we go. That should fix everything up. Because since this train is heading up to the power plant, it will use the track on the right. But I'll also have to get rid of these sig get rid of this signal. And I'll also have to add some new uh, whistle posts. Let's see. The whistle post over there will be okay for now. But yeah. With that taken care of, at least our trains should now start basically getting back to work. Let's just hope this works. Yep. The new signaling system is working very, very well. Now with these new signals, all of my trains can basically be able access every single line they need to be on. No more delays. And now I'm in the red again, but it shouldn't be too long until I should be back into the black. Yep, this train carrying alcoholic barrels is cranked to the track to the right, and the train carrying copper bars is now heading on the main line. Train carrying bottled liquor is on its way back. So all the station, all the so now hopefully this track will not be a burden anymore. There goes the commuter, and now everything should basically be in good standing. All right. Now, because it's going to take a while for my company to earn back money. I'm actually going to cut ahead to when the company is back in the black so we can add a new service, so I'll see you all in just a moment. And we're back. After so darn long, I've been able to get my money back. Turns out the two mods that I removed from the previous episode were the only ones keeping my company in the, in the green. So I had to remove them. But I have one good thing to say. During this time, not only the towns of the town of Granite received all the needed commodities, because I realized that the cargo cars I used for the champagne train were not the right ones, but according to headquarters, we have a score of 70, 40, well, up to 70. I believe basically once the game is over, well, until we reach present day, that will basically Whatever number it de it's landed on the last day of operation in the year 2023, December 31st, that is, that will basically determine on, basically, if, well, if it's between 40 and 50 by the time the year 2023 of December 31st comes. Oh, we got a new trolley, a new caboose, but if it stays between 40 and 50 by the time the game is over... We basically completed that task. But I can safely say that the town of Granite has finally been able to be satisfied with all the commodities. So that particular task is done. Now with that out of the way, we can now focus on basically upgrading some of our equipment. Also during the downtime, I also modified some of our trackage. Some of the trains were getting stuck because many of these Ys were too close together. And some tracks were not allowing any of our trains to use our lines at all. I also made some changes to the equipment that we have with ones that carry more cargo, so we'll be able to transport more of a certain commodity. Like, for example, these log trains are now powered by Alco FAs. Speaking of which, I think it's basically time to get started on replacing some of our aging equipment. Sure, our steam engines have done well over the years, but it's time for some newer equipment in service. Right, so all the freight trains that are still using steam power, such as, such as train, such as this one, train A2, they will be replaced with an Alco FA. Let's see. I have yet to basically get a train for fruit juices, but not to worry. All we just have to do first is just simply replace this diesel, well, the steam locomotive, with a pair of Alco FA1s.
Now, for the train to carry fruit juice, I think we'll basically use some of those Heinz vinegar cars for that service. We'll have the same cars again. We'll have we'll use the same Alcos, but we'll also pick up some of these Heinz vinegar cars. And since they're carrying juice, we'll basically leave them as this. Actually, I think the juices that we're serving are kind of orangey, so we'll basically uh, do it at this color instead. Or actually, we'll just leave them at generic. Okay, uh, let's see. I gotta remember that these Alcos can also carry some cargoes with them. And at the same time, we could also use this new Wide Vision Caboose. 21 units. So, delete that. It'll give us 560 units of liquid, of juice. And we'll put it into work on the new service. Perfect. Now, fruit juice can finally be started being transported. We'll soon need another train to pick up loads of gold products, as well as goods. And, let's see, what other commodities are still needed? Oh, tools, as well. As well as plastic. But once those commodities are sh are picked up and taken to their respective destinations... Oh, cigar cigarettes, as well. But I also, during this time, planned out to do our, what our supposed high-speed service will be. It will run from Cedar Point to Leamington. But it will use the trackage used at Cedar Point Central Terminal. It will split off on the right and travel through the valleys and through the mountains, down through the lowlands, and eventually reconnect to a person-built station at Leamington. Also, I had to sell off one of my airplanes because there was not a lot of passengers riding that air service. Like, 2 out of 30 passengers? That doesn't make sense. Compared to this one that carries nearly 40. But, since we now have fruits and water in, here comes our train of sugar. Okay, let me think. What else? Well, I also decided that it was also high time to get started on transporting commodities into Grand Valley. So, we'll need to get started on building a bit of a road and a warehouse to store all the commodities that are going to be brought into town. And the warehouse will be the same as always. It will be an 80-piece city, country new... Have a, the West End will be out, and this, and the country new building will be placed. We'll then have to carefully turn this in, place it down, and this will be known as the Grand Valley Warehouse. Also, during that time as well, I also basically reassigned one of my trains of delivering war materials here to Greenwood. All it just needs now is lubricants. But because of what happened, I think I'm going to call this video the Financial Pit of 56. Because that was the year that the whole incident took place. Not to mention, I think this roadway needs improvement. Because for one, this railroad crossing is causing a lot of traffic jams. And there's so many darn trains using, the same, using this track at one time... It doesn't seem viable to keep that crossing there. Of course, this will del this will basically get rid of the connection between Longhorn and Blue Water City, and the truck service won't be able to connect to that station. Well, bring in the cargoes into the city of Longhorn. Vehicle in the way? You serious? Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. First of all, I'm going to basically build a new bridge over the railroad line. 
It will span over the four tracks of the main line, and with that in place, trucks and cars won't have to worry about getting stuck behind any of these trains. Well, not getting stuck behind, but basically having no way to go if there's so many trains out on, on the main line. Let's see. That looks good. Now to, the, now to change the bridge design to... Hmm. I wonder. Let's actually just keep it as a girder bridge, actually. There's also two new ones. This green one and this white one. Though the ve though the green, white, and the white, red, and green variants are the tall ones, while the brown one is the lower end. But I think we'll be fine as it is. We'll then need a curve down from the main road. Of course, I need to reset the telegraphy, and then just simply reconnect it here, and then do the same here. Turn it into that. Row vehicle 14, no path. Oh yeah, it's stuck where it is, so I'll just make a temporary road for it to get back onto the main one and convert this one into, well, a regular road. With that in mind, the trucks should now, based the cars, should now turn around and use the new roadway to reach the town of Long. Which means no more railroad crossing here. If there's any more crossings that need replacing because of the trip, because of the traffic, the trains, I'll happily take care of that. Hmm. We still need to deliver more steel, and the steel mill is still needing more coal. I think it's time to start serving another coal mine. There's already one being served at Pine Valley. But, if we could basically connect and build another track, for another train service for this route, it should allow us to handle more coal out of the mine. So, that's what's going to be. I'm going to connect these two track nodes, well, connect those two ends, and then simply connect this track to this. Of course, I'll have to get rid of this dwarf signal and place these two here. And finally, I'll have to set up a new service. It will pick up loads of coal from the Pine Valley coal mine. Take 10 minutes. Be painted blue. And be taken to this. Up to Upper Ridgeland. On track 3, the spare track being track 4. It will unload. And now we'll need to get some locomotives and rolling stock for the new route. Let's take a look on what we can use. Now, I use the Alco RS1s for handling the local passenger trains, so let's see. Hmm. The best of your Lake Erie F7s are being used for hauling the iron ore. Let's see. Is there any other variants? Oh, this one. Number 8002 should very could be useful. Along with this B unit and this B unit, and the reverse unit being number 813. Now, we need to pick up some coal. We'll basically just use some of the H12 hoppers. Although, we can also get 800 units from this type of hopper as well. So, generic randomized, I need about 800 in 80 units. Or actually 920. And now we got some new equipment. And some new diesels. As well as some fuel tenders. And, well, you know, a gas turbine locomotive. And we got a problem again. Great. Okay, train 95 is ready to go. I'll, I'll need to set up on the new line, which will basically be known as... Let's see. Hmm. 
this route be known, since this is carrying minerals, this will be freight train E3C. Train E3C minerals coal. Now, once this... Okay, shipment is increased, and coal is now being waiting to be picked up. Oh. That's not how it's supposed to be done. There. And there was a warning, but it kind of sorted itself out. So, before we end this video off, let's actually have a quick look at the new vehicles that we acquired. First off, let's get rid of them. So... We basically acquired the new EMD GP9. This diesel locomotive is basically a little more stronger compared to the GP7. This GP9, oh, there's also this pack that features both the, the original model, a reverse model, and a B unit, which basically increases the power because it doesn't have a cap. As for diesels, there's also the big blows, which were large electric gas turbine locomotives, 47.5 million for these models, and here's one that's quieter. I might use that so I don't blow out my own eardrums. And electric power. We now have the Pioneer rail cars. These carry 44 passengers compared to the 36. And there's also, I believe, the Pioneer passenger cars. Oh, no, there's no Pioneer coaches. Although, I think we might be using these New Haven passenger cars and the EP5 electric pretty, pretty soon. Okay, Greenwood demands tools. Wait, tools? Oh, wait a second. I thought I already... S the game was set for four commodities, not six. I might have to look into that. But other than that, I think we've reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my on-site schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!